so we are now familiar with the modeling mathematical modeling of uh, Eulerian Lagrangian approach if we intend to numerically program the Eulerian Lagrangian approach what sort of algorithm should we follow now let us see this algorithm uh, the first type of algorithm is for the transient simulations uh, solved in a coupled way coupled meaning we solve the continuous phase equations and the dispersed phase equations together simultaneously coupled manner so there are basically four steps in this particular algorithm first is solve the transient governing equations for continuous phase flow at each cell volume then at the end of each continuous phase time step calculate the dispersed phase velocities and trajectories using the Newton's law of motion then based on these velocities and trajectories calculate the exchange source terms for mass momentum and energy for that particular time step now next is to put this mass momentum and energy source terms into the source term of the governing equations for the continuous phase and then for the next time step again solve the continuous phase governing equations using the source terms calculated from the earlier time step so we will repeat this procedure till we get a converse solution for each time step and we will carry out internal iterations for each time step so we will continue this process for each time step and progress in time The next algorithm is for the steady state simulation using coupled approach. Earlier was for unsteady or transient simulation. So for the steady state simulation, we have a steady state solution and hence we do not need to calculate at each time step. We will just calculate the steady state solution. So for this, what we do is we solve Eulerian steady state equations for continuous phase fluid. Steady state meaning there will be no transient term. There is no differential with respect to time in the governing equations. Once we have solved steady state equation for the continuous phase, we solve Lagrangian equation of motion for dispersed phase and we track them from entry to exit. Meaning, we solve the entire trajectory of the dispersed phase, that is, the entire steady state trajectory. This is same as the earlier, that is, we use the Newton's law of motion for them and we solve the continuous trajectory from entry to exit of the domain. Uh, once we have obtained the trajectory and velocity, for the dispersed phase the next step is to calculate the mass momentum and energy source terms we obtain this and put them back into the governing equation for the continuous phase and we solve the continuous phase equation again that is governing equation that is Eulerian equation again and we continue this process till we get a steady that is a non-changing solution for the trajectories as well as the con as well as the velocity field of the continuous phase so our steady state convergence will be a stable or steady state continuous phase flow field and the steady state trajectory and flow field for the dispersed phase. Next algorithm is for the steady state simulations using a segregated approach. Segregated meaning we solve the continuous phase equations and the dispersed phase equations separately. We do not solve them simultaneously. This is suitable for those particular problems where the effect of the dispersed phase on the continuous phase is very low and so we do not need to have the two-way coupling between the continuous phase and the dispersed phase we can just model the continuous phase and have its effect on the dispersed phase we do not need to go back and calculate the source terms and use them back into the continuous phase so in this particular algorithm what we solve is we first solve the Eulerian steady state equations for the continuous phase then we obtain steady state converse solution for the continuous phase that is a stable converse non-changing solution for the continuous phase flow field using this solution we calculate the dispersed phase solution using equation of motion that is the Lagrangian approach this is same that is we calculate the trajectories and velocities using force balance this is the end of our solution we do not calculate the source term exchange from the dispersed phase to the continuous phase so there is only one way coupling that is from the Eulerian from, from the continuous phase to the dispersed phase we do not calculate the effect of the dispersed phase on the continuous phase so this is suitable for low volume loading of the dispersed phase.